What's up, middle school or high schoolers? How are you guys doing? We hope you guys will join us in worship before we jump right into week two of our series, Popular. You give life, you love, you bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore every heart. Hey Keystone students, I'm Matt Pilla. And I'm Michelle Pilla. We're down here in South Jersey and we are excited to talk to you today about how sometimes big things start with really small steps. Have you ever been feeling some kind of way and all it took was one little move from someone else to completely change the way you felt? I am so excited about tonight, I can't wait. We are gonna have an amazing night together. I can't wait to take you out. We are gonna go, we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna eat like crab legs and stuff. We're gonna wear those bibs and get crab stuff all over us. Then maybe we'll go out and see a movie, like a real cool movie where, you know, it's real scary and it's gonna, it's gonna be so much, uh, uh, it's gonna, uh, uh, uh. Why did you yawn like that? I was talking about our good night. Now I'm all, now I'm all tired. Aren't you excited about this night? Not really. I mean, yes. Yo, it is true. And you know this just as much as I do. Some of you may have yawned already, but you know this, yawns are like super contagious. I don't know why one person can yawn and then the next person yawns. But man, if you're not careful about trying to hide that yawn or hold it in, it could really spoil what would otherwise be a good night. But you know, in the same way that yawns are contagious, attitudes can be contagious too. Not only attitudes, but behaviors can be contagious. Uh, thought and, and, and the way you talk to someone can be contagious. So sometimes it's those little things that could really just have a lot of influence over another person. It's those small steps that make it into something really big down the line. Anyway, let's just look at what is the definition 
of influence. If we really look at it, when you have influence over someone, it means that you have the potential to change something about who they are, what they think, and how they live their lives. And that's a pretty important thing. And sometimes we think of influence as always a bad thing, like, oh, wow, it could be a really bad thing, but it doesn't have to be just that, right? Yeah, when I think of influence, sometimes I think about how my mom would say, don't hang out with this person because they're a bad influence, or don't listen to this music because it will influence you badly, or make sure you're a good influence on your brother. So those are the type of things that I think of when I think of influence, but that's just a very small picture of what influence really is. And sometimes you might think of being an influence as a lot of responsibility, or you might think of it as, oh, that's not really a lot of fun. I don't wanna always have to be a good influence, but we just want you to think about it as a big picture thing that God has given you influence in all kinds of ways, not in just that one small piece that you think of it as. It kind of reminds me of the Bible story in Acts that, that we look at in Acts 2, 42 through 47, as Jesus shows us the type of disciples that he chose. He didn't choose guys who were popular or super wealthy or even really liked by a lot of people. He chose regular fishermen. And especially, we look at the life of Peter. Peter at times was a coward, a liar, uh, just didn't have a lot of good qualities. He would throw fits of anger. And yet, God chose him because Peter chose to take small steps of faith in following Jesus and God chose him. We're looking at Acts chapter 2, verse 42 through 47. Matt, would you read that for us? Yeah, this is after uh, Jesus had ascended back into heaven and the Holy Spirit had come and the disciples were now carrying out the great commission that Jesus told them to carry out. And look at the tremendous amount of influence that this small band of fishermen and tax collectors and sinners and whatever had on the people around them. Look at this, Acts chapter 2, starting in verse 42 to 47. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And listen to this, awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. So here you have them carrying out incredible things. They're doing signs and wonders and everybody's blown away by this. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. Man, talk about influence, man. Could you have that kind of influence on the people around you that everybody around you had all their stuff in common? What's mine's mine's and what's yours is yours and what's mine's yours and what's yours mine's? That's wild. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. Everybody was being generous and charitable and it was just super contagious. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Not only did it influence that small band of apostles and disciples in the beginning, but that influence went way out and increased the size of the early church. So you see the disciples weren't chose because they were so popular, but because they were willing to follow God mm. and they were willing to take those small steps of faith. And that's why God chose them. Um, just looking into your life and into my life, what are some small steps that you can take that would help you have that influence that you want to have on your friends, that God wants you to have on your friends? Because every day we have choices that we can make that are seem very small, but they really do have influence. So let's think about that for a minute. Is there anything that comes to your mind that students can do from day to day? Uh, I tell you, you got a whole bunch of people you know that you may have lost contact with and maybe even some folks from school that you know don't have a lot to do and might not have a whole lot of connections or friends. 
man, this will be the perfect opportunity for you to show them the love of Christ. Maybe reach out to them, send them a quick little DM on Instagram or something, or just reach out to them and say hello, or maybe even drop something off at their door. I mean, people have been making cookies and bringing them. Maybe that's one thing you could do just to brighten up somebody's day, just a little small step to influence someone who desperately needs to know that Jesus loves them even more than you do. Maybe even in your own home, you can help a sibling with some homework or help your parents out with cooking a meal or just something small, clean the car out, do something that you being a student, you have influence. And don't let anyone tell you because your age that you don't, you can influence adults to do the right thing and even to encourage us that there is hope. So we just want to encourage you today to take those small steps and take a leap of faith in the little things. It's going to have great influence. So God bless you guys. Can't wait to see you again.